Hi, my name is Christine and welcome to Garden Yarns. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. Today for you I have some whips, finished objects, and uh, some yarn that I got from Mary Maxim. So let's get started, shall we? I'll start with my Mary Maxim order because this is the handiest. I got... These weren't on sale, but uh, my Michaels didn't have a lot of Bernays or neck, Bernay Handicraft or Cotton Handy. So I got the Lily Sugar and Cream from Mary Maxim. It wasn't on sale, but it was a color that I wanted. I believe it was a $3 and change. Uh, this is hot green. <coughs> and it is a worsted four ply. It's 2.5 ounces or 70.9 grams. I believe I can get two dishcloths out of one of these. And this is, here I'll take one out of the package. Let's see the color a little better. That vibrant green. So I got a pack of six. And then I'm doing the jack-o'-lantern dishcloths in that I showed you earlier. I believe I did. Uh, this is a hot orange. Let's double check that. Yes, hot orange. And again, this is a lily sugar and cream. And I actually got 12 of these. Six of the red. Yes, this is a red. I thought it might have had a cutesy name, but just red. I'm already starting to turn one into a hand towel. So I'll show you that now. This is a, just a plain design. Then I also got three of this color. This is Orchid. And I got three of those. And then I got three in Sunshine. It's like a bright yellow, although it looks a little greenish in my screen here. And that was it that I got from Mary Maxim. And just in case I didn't show you the pumpkin dish cloth set, it's here. I'll try to link, link the pattern in the description box down below. And this is a hand towel with the same pumpkin design on it. So that's one of my completed objects. And then I also made another one for my friend, the deer. I didn't have any munching buttons, but I thought this soft yellow came pretty close. She could always tra change it up later. And here's the... Yes, I have it right side up. This is the white tailed deer cloth. So I finished that this week. And then I also finished a Bagel Day scarf pattern. I probably can't show you it all here because it's quite long. But this is the pattern here. It's almost like a shell and double crochet and I added the fringe. And this is one of those long ones that you can wrap around twice. And then it still dangles. So I thought that was pretty color. And this was done with the Mandela watercolors. And this is a bulky five. And this is what it looks like. It's 
probably closer to a four, but they call it a five. And then I used almost two cakes. And these are 3.5 ounces and 100 grams or 164 yards. And this is all I had left of my second ball. So it's pretty reds and pinks. Not sure if that'll be a gift for somebody or if I'll wear it. And I did another scarf. This is pinks, purples, and grays. And it's another long one. So you can wrap it around twice. And I put fringe on this as well. So yes, a mixture of pinks and purples. And this one I use roll with it tweed. Yes. And this color is Berry Blush. And it's a red heart yarn. And it's a number four. And it's 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, or 296 yards. And this is all that I have left, so I didn't use too much of the second cake. And it's kind of warm here today, so I'm going to take this off. But I did like the effects with this yarn. Very pretty. And I did finally finish, or not finally, I did finish the anniversary cake blanket that I was making with the V-stitch. I finished that. I used almost two cakes. I won't be able to show you it all on screen because it is rather large. I made it big enough so that I could sit in a chair and have it come up to my shoulders, but I'll give you a sample here. So the blue and pretty purples. I started and ended with this, I started with this color, this kind of violety color, and I ended with that. So I can show you what I have left in the cakes. I have this ball here, I believe it's like three color changes left in there. And then I have this one because I color controlled it when I started the new ball. So that's all that I have left of that one. So I have these two. So I'm not sure if it might make a pair of slippers or at least maybe a hat. I'll have to weigh it to make sure that I have enough to do something with it. And I forgot to mention that I did get another Erin Lane bag. I think this she calls this her mini view. And it's got a cute bird motif on there, which I thought was quite pretty. And the inside is lined with pink. And it does come with the zipper. There, and it won't snag on your it won't snag on your yarn. So I thought that was quite cute. She had a live sale recently on her Facebook group, Erin Lane Big Buddies. So you might want to check that out sometime if you need another cute little project big. And then, so I just finished that one. So I think the next blanket I'm going to go back to working on is my Fairy Cake Ruffle Blanket. So I'll show you that. I made a mess out of this cake, so I'll have to rewind it. And I got, got my other cake tingled in there, because I'm color controlling on this as well. But just to give you an idea. This is the same as the big cake blanket I did in the grays and blue. So this is... I won't be able to show it to y'all in here either, because it's a fair size. But I just love the blues in this. So I still got a little ways to go. Yeah, I think I'm only at maybe about three feet or so. It comes up to my waist. 
and I'm about 5'5", five five, somewhere in that ballpark. So I'm about half done. This project's been in the works for a while, but it always ends up on the back burner. So I figure now that I finish those two other blankets, I'll go back to this one. And I think... Yeah, I do have the label here, but I don't want to pull it out because then it'll make it even more of a mess, I think. But I'll take time to wind that up again later. Now that I do have a Stan Wood yarn winder. I can fix that right up. And then... I also started a pocket shawl. I think, I'm not sure if her name was Anna, but I'll try to link her down in the description box, but she did a pretty V-stitch pocket shawl, so I thought I'd give that a try. So I've only just started it. This is 204 stitches. So it's pretty long. And again, I'm using my favorite Bernie Premium. And this cake is a soft gray heather. And let's see. Oh, here it is. 100% acrylic, 7 ounces, 198 grams, or 360 yards. So I'm going to be doing it all this color. I'll probably need maybe two and a half to three balls. Or skeins, I should say. So that's started, so that's coming along nicely. So I'll be working on the ripple blanket and the pocket shawl. And then... I was also playing around with my squares. So I did do one pink with white and I did one white with pink. So I may keep those two squares. And then I was thinking maybe throwing in a gray, but I'm not sure. Maybe if I can find another shade of pink, like I said. But I think the baby pink's a little too light to go with a hot pink. So maybe the gray. I'll make up a square or two and see how I go. And I think I have made a few more pink squares since I last showed you this one. So, I believe that's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank you for liking and watching and subscribing to my videos and sorry I didn't mention this earlier but welcome to all my new subscribers and the ones that have been with me for a little bit. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until the next time I hope you all stay healthy and happy crafting. Bye for now.